Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Rail tool. So Rail is another tool that you can use to create surfaces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to side view and I'm gonna create some curves. CV, just a shape like this. And I'm gonna create another curve from the front view like this. Now, unlike a skin where you have two curves in a parallel, like this, a rail is a little bit different in how you construct it. So I'm just gonna start with the most simplest form, which is a monorail. So I'm gonna double click on the option box and I'm gonna say one and one. And I'll say next, turn that off. And with the rail, because it's called rail, Basically, you are creating a section curve in which it is, uh, which follows a rail curve. So basically what it does is it's gonna create a surface that mimics this section and which follows through this path of a curve. So I'm gonna just, it says select a generation curve. So I'm gonna click this one and it says select primary rail curve. And I'm gonna say this, uh, choose this curve and here's a surface like this. Now, rail has a few more options. So right now I just create a monorail in which you have one generation curve and one rail curve. Now if I change the option, so let's say the default value is one generation curve and two rail curves. So in order to do that, I need two rail curves. So I'm gonna pick this curve, I'm gonna copy paste it, and I'm gonna move it over here. I'm just gonna curve snap it right, uh, CV snap it here. Now, I'm gonna say, let's read the prompt line. So select generation curve. So I'm gonna use the same curve for generation and select primary rail curve right here. And it says select a secondary rail curve. So I'm gonna click here. Now the result should be very similar, but with a by rail, what you can do is so you have more control over the shape. So what you can do is, let's say you want the shape to stay the same, but you want this to go down a little bit like this. Then you're able to create a shape like this in which you have a little bit more uh, lean towards the bottom in this corner. Just gonna use a stretch. So let's say you want to make it a little bit longer, then you can do that also. You can stretch it down, but it's always going to follow like that. I'll follow the, gen, uh, the rail curve like this. Now, the fourth method. Oh, actually you can, um, so in by rail, you can do one and two, gen, one, genera, one generation curve and two rail curves, or you can do vice versa. You can do two generation and one rail curve. So in this case, you can use the same curve, but let's, uh, instead of using this as a generation curve, let's use these two as a generation curve. So same thing, I'm gonna select the generation curve first, like this, and select the rail curve like that. The resultant surface is actually very similar. There is a very slight, although there is a technical and um, difference in definition, but the resultant surface, when you're actually modeling, there is also very little difference. So let's actually test it out. So I'm just gonna say one and two and see if the surface is any different between the two. You'll see that there is a little bit of difference uh, in the edge, but like I said, there is a very little difference in the actual shape that matters. So let's actually see if we can measure the deviation between the two surfaces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to locators and I'm gonna say surface to surface distance. And it looks like there is 0.4 mils now. 0.4 mils, that's less than a mil. And in when you're creating a vehicle the size of 5,000 mils in length, 
this will make a very little difference. But there are times uh, when you might want to prefer uh, prefer to use one over the other, but in practical sense, they are very similar in nature. Now, let's move on to by rail, and let's use two and two. I'm just gonna click here and here. I'm just gonna adjust the curvature of the curve like this. Now, you use by rail when you need even more control. So let's say you want uh, one section to start here and you want section to start uh, end there. And you also want this generation curve one to be a little bit flat. And let's make this a little bit more round. So let's say you want this to have a more round shape in the end. So I'm gonna just double click on by rail, two and two. Next, I'm gonna select the generation curve here, select the next generation curve here, select primary rail curve here, and secondary rail curve here. And as you can see, it goes, let's see, you'll see that it's a little bit flat here and it ends up with a more full, fuller shape in the end. Okay. Now, by rail does have more options. So you can actually make more generation curves than two. So because you know there is an option too. However, it is recommended that you actually don't do that. Just because the most shapes, at least the more most automotive shapes, don't really require to use uh, more than two generation curves. And the shape on uh, if you decide to uh, decide to use more than two generation curves. It usually creates a um, an undulation in the surface that might be not desirable in class A surfacing. However, I'll still show you how to use it. So I'm just going to create a, one more section in the middle. And I'm going to make this a little bit more fuller than before. And I'm going to say by rail. So I'm going to say uh, select plus two, uh, two plus in generation curve. So select generation curves, I'm gonna press one, two, and three. I'm gonna say press go, and I'm gonna select the primary rail, and secondary rail, like this. Now, if you see this curve, uh, if you see the surface here, it actually create a span in the middle because of the control and you need to create this, uh, <clears throat> to mimic this curve right here. And the result on the surface, actually, it's not that bad. But most um, in most surfacing, in most automotive surfacing, you don't really need a, a shape like this in the middle. And also, if you can see this, there's a little bit of kink. Now, this is probably mostly because we have a degree two and degree two uh, degree two curve and degree two curve with a two two spans. Now, if I increase this, the curves to degree five, I'm pretty sure it's gonna make this a little bit better. Okay, so it looks like we don't have a kink anymore. However, maybe in product design, we'll have a shape like this, but in automo uh, automotive modeling, you'll rarely need a section curve which requires a section curve in the middle of the surface. But while it is important to know how to use it, there is rarely a situation where you actually have to for two plus a by rail. All right, okay, so that concludes this lesson and thank you for watching.